time for our pop quiz. Oh, you didn't know we had a test today? Oh, well, sorry. No rescheduling. <laughs> Question number one. What's better, two slices of pizza or one slice of pizza? Okay, okay. Next question. What's better? Two pieces of Halloween candy or one piece of Halloween candy? Okay, okay. Final question. What is better? Two likes on this video or one like on this video? Because seriously, family, smash like. I don't even know if we can get one. But anyways, family, the results are in and you failed. Yeah, you got every single question wrong. Ask me how I don't know. It was pretty simple. The answer is always two, family. It's always two. Two is always better than one. You telling me your mom and dad ever offer you an extra puppy and you say no? Yeah, didn't think so. But anyways, family, this rule is especially true in today's video because today we're going to be talking about different two-headed animals that should probably not exist. Buckle up, family. This gets kind of weird. But before we start, family, comment down below your favorite animal or else they might grow a second head too and i don't know if you want that Ugh. have you ever seen a two-headed turtle i didn't think so but here you go yes it might be weird but look how cute he looks or should i say they look is that technically one person or two two heads one body but how many hearts wait do turtles even have hearts if they didn't that would explain how they can swim in all that cold water them hearts be cold or non-existent and why snapping turtles almost bit my finger off last summer very close but not close enough mr turtle i didn't forget about you turtles already move around so slow i can't imagine how slow this turtle would be with a whole extra head all them baby turtles trying to cross that beach and get into the water before the evil birds up above try and eat them but oh wait the birds see the turtle with an extra head and that's their jackpot why hunt two turtles when you can hunt just one and get the same amount of meat. It's like cracking open an egg with two yolks in it. And out of all the things I could get doubles of, I don't think an egg yolk is one of them. Too much cholesterol. I'm too young to get a heart attack. Give it to grandpa instead. Meet Lucky the two-headed calf. Actually, technically it's two-faced calf because they share the same head. And they even share the same brain too. Yikes, imagine sharing the same brain with your brother. I don't want to think about pizza and race cars all day but he would probably force me to if we shared the same brain how rude of him or maybe i wouldn't think that it's rude because we'd be sharing the same brain and then he would be telling the brain to tell me that it was nice huh. i don't know family lucky the calf was born on a farm in kentucky from farmers stan and brandy they say that they've never had something happen like this before but i don't know family look at them and look deeply into their eyes do we trust them or are we a little bit suspicious I'm thinking suspicious. Will we ever know if they're regular farmers or weird farmers that farm farms of two-headed calves? No, we won't. And quite frankly, that's a secret that I don't want to know. Some things are better left unsaid. Or below the head. Not double head, single head. Because I don't want to hear it. Lucky has two mouths, two noses, and two pairs of eyes. That means he can always see every single thing you do. All that stupid stuff you be doing behind the barn? Yeah, Lucky sees that in 4K HD. But don't worry, he only got one brain, so... He won't remember by morning. This dude owns the world record for the largest collection of two-headed animals in the whole world. Kinda weird, but kinda cool. No, 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 weird, but also cool. Weird, no, I'm saying weird. And what's his prized possession in his collection? His two-headed dragon. You know, like the things that breathe fire? And no, I'm not talking about your daddy's tushy after he ate Chipotle. That's a different kind of flame. These are two-headed bearded dragons and they're actually smaller than the palm of your hand. So yeah, definitely less scary than your dad eating Chipotle. To be honest, I don't think there's much that is scarier. Oh, memories I'm trying to forget. A man in China was super surprised when his pig gave birth to a two-headed little piggy. This little piggy went to the market this little piggy stayed home this little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy cloned himself 
himself into two heads. Maybe he has a superpower. Maybe that little piggy's also Spider-Man. Who knows? Spider webs aren't the only thing he's spinning. He's spinning heads too. The farmer was offered $300 for his two-headed pet pig, but I guess he just gave him a no thank you and told them to be on his way. He wanted the two porky heads for himself. Who knows? Maybe he wanted a nice ham dinner for Thanksgiving. And that, my friends, is a definition of meathead. Literally. Eat up! Three words, two-headed snake! Oh! Why does that thing look like a slingshot paddle? Because if something like that came up to me, I'm not just slinging away the balls. I want to sling that thing away with it, too! Far, far away! Two-headed snakes means double the chance for you to get bitten by it, or double the chance for you to get venom in your blood! Now that's dangerous! Apparently it's not the most uncommon thing in the world to see a two-headed snake. And for that, I would like to say that I'm retiring from life. It's over. It's done. Put me in a metal box and throw away the keys because I don't think I could live in a world knowing that those things are roaming the streets around me. I already got to worry about bears, spiders, other humans. Specifically my family. Because they're on to something. I know it. But now I got to worry about those things too. Uh, excuse me, sir. Please don't hurt me. Pretty please. I'll be good, I promise. This fisherman found an oddly sized fish one day in his fishing net, took it out, took a couple pictures, and then because it was already accidentally oof, he ended up throwing it back in the ocean. But what he didn't know is after when he showed these pictures to a doctor, a sea doctor, marine biologist, is that what they're called? He told him that it was a rare one of seven two-headed dolphins in the whole world world. What? That's kind of cool, but also kind of really sad because he accidentally oofed him. I guess we don't know if he was already oofed before or if he got oofed from the fishing net, but either way, he's gone and not coming back unless he washes up on the beach shore. And in that case, who's throwing the dolphin's funeral? And do we got to pay for one funeral or two? Because if it's caused by head, we're in trouble. Y'all want to pitch in? Mm. I didn't think so. What's worse than a regular cat? A two-headed cat. Twice the evil. Twice the fun. If your idea of fun is getting your eyes scratched out from their claws. Because cats are ruthless. And I know, family, I talk a lot of smack about cats, but this cat is actually kind of cute. Betty B was born as a house cat in South Africa. But unfortunately, family, if you don't want to hear sad news, this is your time to close your ears. Betty B ended up oofing only six. 16 days after she was born. The one cat I ever liked in this whole world had to leave just like that before I even got to know her. Dang, life ain't mm. fair. Whatever happened to your seven lives, Betty B? You're telling me you already wasted six of them falling out of that apple tree? Jeez, girl, you be spending your cat lives just as fast as I be spending my Robux. Very quickly and kind of ruthlessly. Maybe me and cats aren't so different after all. Hmm, uh-oh. Oh, meow? Oh, that felt so wrong. But anyways, family, that is all of the two-headed animals that I have for you today. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to help us reach 1 million subscribers by the end of this year, smash that subscribe button and turn on all post notifications so you won't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to go follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.